Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, why not make a bigger ask? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We on- what is up, my friends? Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. If you are watching this on YouTube, mash that like button, that share button, the subscribe button. If you're listening on whether it's Spotify, iTunes, or any other platform, Leave us a review, share this with somebody. Let's dive into the content today. Oh, listen, I get hit up all the time about deals. Most of the times, right? People, hey, can you lend me money? You want to do a deal? What do you think about this deal? As a business owner and as a business and as a brand, I make money and then whatever I have left over after I spend and take care of my family and our needs, pay the mortgage, pay the cars, you know, insurance and food. I got to do something with that money. So I invest it. I put it in different things, some retirement accounts, life insurance, real estate, trades, like all kinds of stuff. And so my money is working for me. Well, one guy came to me, good friend of mine, and he was like, hey, I, I got this idea. I'm like, great, tell me about it. So he tells me about this business he wants to start, got some history, got some experience, doesn't have the money to do it doesn't have the credit to be able to borrow money to do it. So I'm like, all right, cool. He's going to need about $150,000 to get his equipment, to get everything up and running. And you know, look, I would love to do this. I I could probably help him out. The problem as a business owner is I've got to make sound decisions that protect me and my family. Man, I just love to help people. So I go back to my my friend and I say, hey, listen, listen, you need 150 grand. You go come up with 75 and I'll take care of the other 75. I'll, I'll cover half of it, but you got to go come up with the first 75. Now, if you're thinking only in the, the realm of options, okay, I want you just to create a distinction here with me. Most people live in the realm, the realm of options, which means they, it's like this or this very, very limiting in his mind. He's like, I don't know where to get that. None of my family can do it. Okay. I don't know anyone who's got 75 grand laying around him. Okay. And he he just kind of felt stuck. Now, options is one thing, but where most people miss the mark is in the realm or the domain of what I call possibilities. See, my words to him were, listen, like you got to think in possibilities. Where could you get 75 K? That's like 10 people that would give you seven K. It's not a lot of money. And I say that not to be arrogant. It's just, it's not a lot of money. You know, seven grand, 10 grand is not a lot of money. 25 grand is not a lot of money. I mean, it is and it isn't, right? To a high school kid, seven grand is a lot of money. To an entrepreneur, 100 grand is not a lot of money, right? It's a shit you got to have. So I'm asking him, he's like, I don't know. I'm like, let me put it this way. I just used a different analogy. The analogy was if someone said, hey, you need to come up with $100,000 or your son's going to die. And real quickly, he was like, oh, I just go rob a bank. I'm like, okay, that's one possibility. What else could you do? I'm kind of stuck. And see, this is why I say you got to make bigger requests. Most people are stuck because your thinking is small and limited and finite. Like rob a bank was what he came up with. That was it. Now, I don't know about you, but if someone said, hey, you, you've got 48 hours to come up with $100,000 or if that's easy for you, a million dollars, or if that's easy for you, $10 million, or if 10 million is easy, call it a hundred million. Whatever the number is, that's like, whoa, that's kind of a lot. Would your child die? So you have to learn how to think like that, like, okay, cool. And I can boldly say right now, I could make some phone calls for 10 million. I could go raise 10 million. I could go get 10 million. 100 million, ooh, I, I think I could do that too. A billion, ah, my network's not that big. <laughs> my point is you got to go into the realm of possibilities. You got to stop thinking like a small, finite lizard monkey brain person. And I'm not calling this person a lizard monkey brain. We all have lizard brain. We all have finite thinking. And then if we can enter to the realm of possibilities, like there's just so many possibilities. What could you do? Who could you ask? Who could you talk to? I shared the story with him with one of my early clients. This client of mine, most he ever made in a year was $20,000. 
That was it. He was working out of his home in his basement, training people in his basement, fitness trainer. And then I told him, hey, I can help you and work with you. And he's like, well, what's the fee to work with you? I'm like, it'd be 20 grand. He's like, excuse me? That's the most I've ever made. I'm like, yeah, 20 grand, give us like four months. You know, five grand a month, not that much money. And he was like, oh my gosh. And I had to coach him to think in, the, in terms of possibilities. Who could you go ask? Who could you go make a request from? Who could you make a bold request and or bold ask from? See, most people, they, they think like, well, if I don't have it in my account or I can only work my job, I guess, I'm, I guess my child's going to die. Come on, you, you, you got to tell me you could get creative. Like, you could sit across me and say, oh, my son's going to die? I can go get it. I'll figure it out. And I mean, rob a bank? Sure. But there are other possibilities. There's people that I know today, I could, if I could get on the phone with them and say, hey, I need this. And I need it. Like, and I'm telling you, I can get you back. I have that much certainty and that much confidence in myself and in my ability to make a request. I know people who know people who know people I could go make this happen. Uh, why am I sharing this podcast about my friend? Some of you today are stuck. You know, you're stuck because you, you cannot see outside of options. An option is what you know, is what you see. But a possibility is something that exists but you can't see, but you've got to start asking the different questions and making bigger requests. I'll never forget when I hired one of the mentors that I hired, he's $100,000 to work with him. I didn't have that sitting in my bank account. I had to go figure it out. But I knew what was on the other side of paying this mentor $100,000 would be worth way more than $100,000. So I had to go make some requests, do some business, close some deals. I mean, it, you know, if you knew how short life was, you wouldn't be afraid to ask for anything. And especially if the life of your child or your spouse was on the line, come on. You, you, you don't mean to tell me you couldn't go find 20 people to give you 500 bucks? You know, I mean, 20 people, 500, what is that? It's like 10,000 bucks. Okay, go get 100 people to give you 500 bucks. Like, it's just, you have to be willing to make big requests. So I, I invite you to take a look at your life today. You know, if you're not willing to go get, and again, I, I, I say this to people. Again, in this example, $75,000. Like if you can't go figure out $75,000, like you don't even deserve to be an entrepreneur. You don't deserve to be a business owner. You don't deserve it. Why? Because you're talking about building a business that's gonna make multiple seven figures, but you can't figure out the first 75. And I'm not trying to be this like arrogant, pompous person. I am being a coach right now, which is 75,000, 100,000 is not that much money. And when you can really get that, again, one of my mentors said that, I'll never forget, it's 2014. He's like, you know, Satima, uh, if you're an entrepreneur and you think $100,000 is a lot of money, you're really not an entrepreneur, you're an employee. And I'm like, oh gosh, you're right. So challenge your thinking. Challenge how you see situations. Be willing to get out of the land of options, which is finite, and get into the realm of possibilities. You know, possibilities like, Hmm, what might be possible if I go make a request? My son's life is on the line. You better believe I can go raise 10 million bucks. No question. Because when the stakes are high and there's like something that matters to you, you go figure it out. And the point of this podcast is just to make a bigger request. You know, learn how to make a request. Learn how to ask. And listen, don't show up and say, hey, I need to borrow $10,000 from you. Probably we want to make a case. You probably want to learn how to lay out what's in front of you and so they can digest it, so they can see what you see, and they can see a way to get paid back and that you're willing to be that person. Possibilities, not options. And if you knew how short life was, you wouldn't be afraid to ask for anything. Make big requests. Worst thing that people can say is no. So go make a request today. Go start asking for more and then make sure you align your intention and your behaviors and your competencies with the big asks that you're making. Until next time, thank you for listening. Go be a game changer. Go make a difference. I'm out. Let's go. Go, 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 uh -huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, help you get your pen up. Want to be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.